Hello everybody and welcome back to Retro Gaming Revisited. Today we're sitting here with one of the granddaddies of first person shooters, Quake. Uh, just a little insight into the game. Uh, you are a random guy in this really crazy world. You've got four different dimensions to go through with about eight levels in each. The, as far as I'm aware there wasn't much of a story. Um, there may be one but I never saw one so I can't really comment. However, I can give you my perspective of this game. It blew me away. When I first saw this game, I'd been playing games like Doom, Duke Nukem 3D, which were all sprite related. This was the first game that actually used 3D models that I was aware of. This, For me, this started the multiplayer genre that we had through the mid-90s to the late 90s into the early 2000s on PC gaming, uh, spawning classics like Half-Life Deathmatch and uh, well the Deathmatch uh, genre in general not just uh, co-op also like I said Deathmatch and uh, I believe there was a Capture the Flag mode Last Man Standing and a few others which all obviously we are well equipped with today in regards to our Call of Duty games and various other ones on the franchise like Battlefield and so on and so forth so I'm uh, just going to have a run through a couple of levels. Uh, we're going to go for the normal difficulty because I always found easy was, well, it was far too easy. So this is the dimension of the Doom. This is the first chapter of the game. And let's jump right in. Okay. <coughs> so the controls are your standard mouse and keyboard controls. Uh, the graphics obviously haven't aged amazingly. But seeing as the game was in the book was created in the mid 90s, I think we can uh, forgive it that. The soundtrack for the game was made by Nine Inch Nails, the uh, well, well, I don't know what you call them, industrial metal maybe. They're always metal to me, Nine Inch Nails. Uh, interestingly enough, when you get the nail gun weapon in this game, which I will be picking up shortly. You, any of the ammo boxes for it have nine inch nails written on it. Well, they have the initial, the band's logo on it anyway. So, as you can see, the enemies in this game are your stock enemy soldiers, ouch, and rabid dogs, which was interesting. Uh, you had a number of different weapons. You have the axe and the shotgun, which is all I have at the moment. There were more, and there are more, and I will show you. Now this is one of my favourite power-ups, and it always has been, is quad damage. I'll let you work out what it does. Hey, isn't that beautiful? Blood and guts everywhere. Just what we from a mid-90s video game with no ESRB. As far as I was aware. Mind you, my parents were cool and they let me play anything I wanted. I wasn't a warped little weirdo. Okay, maybe a little bit, but that's not this one. So, <coughs> I'm pretty much flying through this because I know how the game works and all the enemies are. So forgive me if you're not able to keep up. But you can get this game on multiple platforms. I'm playing it through Steam because before I knew any better, I did buy it through Steam. But as I, I don't think, I'm not sure if it's freeware just yet because id software are still around so I, I wouldn't have thought because they would have made it freeware through bankruptcy love the double barrel shotgun so that was the first level very industrial looking it always reminded me of doom which i suppose the uh, dimension of the doomed may be a a nod to their previous games but then all of a sudden it gets very well apart from the crates it gets very medieval um, it was a, the thing is with this game that I enjoyed. It was never quite one thing. It was it was never one. It, it wasn't like Battlefield. Everybody's a soldier. Everyone's a human. I mean, this guy clearly, you know, has a chainsaw for a hand. He's clearly not human, unless he's trying to rip off Ash from Evil Dead. They also fire grenades like that. They fire grenades at you from rather close range. Which is easy to avoid. Huh. 
This was one of the first games I remember to make you have to really work for uh, <coughs> for your prizes. Well, I say prizes, I mean uh, to complete the level and your weapons. Because the more weapons you unlock, the better the game is, or at least I thought so. I'll um, I'll play with the nail gun for a bit. Uh, there it is. I'll use the nail gun for a little bit. For damage. So you can see what it's like. Mm. So as you can see, it's like a machine gun that fires uh, multiple nails. That's another thing I liked about this game. It didn't conform to the conventional standard of weapons. I mean, yes, you had the shotgun, you had the axe, which was different because every other game either punched or kicked. You had uh, the standard shotgun, double barrel shotgun, and the nail gun. Now, what I was going to say was, other games you would have had a machine gun or a uh, assault rifle, but no, this is a gun that you can probably pick up in B and Q or for any American viewers, Home Depot, and it probably cost you maybe fifty pounds. So I like the fact that they didn't go too too uh, crazy with the weapons. They kind of kept it to things that could exist. I mean, I've never seen a nail gun like that, but it's a nail gun. It could also be down to the uh, limit, the graphical limitations of the game as well. first played the game it's actually <laughs> I uh, I shit myself when he came charging out of there I was like because you have to remember anything I'd seen up to this point was all sprites so when a 3d polyg <laughs> when a 3d model of whatever the hell that thing is came launching it out of the darkness at you kind of made it made you jump and this was long before things like slender man or amnesia so I'm going to wrap this video up now because otherwise it's just me going through every level pretty much unhalted. So thanks very much for joining us. That was Quake. Again, one of the granddaddies of first person shooters. One of my favourite games of all time. I will always stand by Quake. Maybe not Quake 4 the way it went after Quake 3 because Quake 1 was, as you can see, is like this. Quake 2, we'll cover that in another video. It was slightly more futuristic but a definitely a step up. Quake 3 just went in a completely different direction. We'll cover that in another video. And Quake 4, which I did get around to playing, uh, from what I've been told by close friends of mine, it kind of bombed out. It didn't really... It followed on more from Quake 2, but it went in another different direction from what I've been told. Not entirely sure about that. I'll have to check it out myself and uh, make a video on it. So for now, that's Quake 1. Thanks for joining us. If you like what you've been watching and you'd like to see more hit the subscribe button below and we will see you on the flip side <laughs>